Why do people leave the church? What motivates them to walk away from the Christian faith? And here we're not talking about things like they just got out of the habit or they like church hopping. It's more than just claiming that one particular congregation doesn't meet their needs. Often, it has more to do with the behavior of other Christians. Here are five problems that lead to people leaving church. The first problem we see is legalism. Some people are faced with such a strict view of God and His Word that they have a hard time reconciling their church's views with what they read in Scripture. They see church members spending a lot of time battling over things that don't really seem to matter very much. Then they look in Scripture and see passages about God's love and grace or Jesus' kindness to others or the love and charity that early Christians showed toward one another. They decide that their church can't possibly be the church of the Bible because the two seem to be so different. So they head for greener pastures. A second problem we see is abuse. A lot of people lose faith in church because they've been hurt or see someone else mistreated. There are a lot of churches where preachers or elders or their wives abuse their positions. They may try to control other people or spread malicious gossip about them. Of course, this isn't limited to the leadership. Anyone could be abusive toward another church member. And this is especially true with social media. Angry rants and sarcastic comebacks are par for the course online. Sometimes Christians are just as guilty as anyone else. Another reason Christians leave church is because they were always told not to doubt. Other believers told them, just have faith, or told them that doubt was a sin, or that if they have doubts, then they're the problem. So they maintain the facade for a while, but these nagging questions won't let go. Doubt isn't necessarily a bad thing. Every objective, thoughtful person questions his or her beliefs sometimes, and it may have nothing to do with religion. There isn't a position in the world that the genuinely reflective person accepts wholesale without any questions whatsoever. Part of the life of the mature Christian includes facing these questions and searching for spiritually and intellectually satisfying answers. But if we tell people that it's wrong to doubt and give them the choice between an impossibly uncritical faith and what seems to be real, very few of them are going to see that as a difficult choice. A fourth reason people leave Christianity is because they grew up in a Christian bubble. They never learned about other worldviews. They never encountered anyone from a different religion. They were only given one very narrow perspective of the world. If Christians haven't ever prepared themselves to handle the world's challenges, we shouldn't be surprised if they fall. Having a completely insulated home life only sets Christians up for unnecessary struggles that they may be poorly equipped to face. A fifth problem that causes people to leave the church is trouble with the Bible. As young people, many of us hear a selection of carefully curated Bible stories that tend to avoid the more difficult questions. But as we age, we start to explore those darker corners of the Bible. Why did the Canaanites have to die? Was that genocide? Why did Jesus have to die? Was that divine child abuse? Why did God make a world where it was possible for people to sin? Wouldn't it have been easier if everybody was just good all the time? If we don't get plausible answers to questions like these, it makes it sound like the Bible's critics might have a good case. If so, why bother dedicating our lives to a religion whose holy text seems flawed and whose teachings seem morally suspect? These are only a few reasons why people leave the church, but it does mean that Christians need to have good answers for those who might be struggling. It often comes down to us just acting in a way that's consistent with biblical teaching, showing love to others, being charitable and gracious in our relationships, and being willing to tackle tough questions. But we also have to be observant enough to see when someone else might need help, and then be willing and able to offer it. People often leave the church for really bad reasons. That means we need to be ready to give them good reasons to stay.